Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Tuesday, June 6, 2023. If you're new to my channel, hello. Welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Let's have a look and see what the skies have to tell you for today. Your main energy here, Page of Swords. Wow. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, we got that yesterday as your main overall energy, didn't we? Okay, so clearly we've got a hangover going on here. Uh, we've got some energy that's carrying you through. Um, now we are, of course, in Gemini season, right? And when we're in Gemini season, it's all about communication, the air sign energy, right? Communication, thoughts, thoughts, new ideas, um, talking to people, the stories we tell ourselves, um, you know, really putting ourselves out there to do something a little bit different than we normally would, right? All of that kind of energy. It's a very expansive kind of energy. Um, this is where we start journaling. This is where we start to figure out how to follow our dreams, Maybe we are having important uh, conversations with people here as well. So the Page of Swords for the second day in a row, completely different deck, and I'm doing this on a different day. So uh, anyway, so this energy is prevailing. Some of you could have some really positive communication going on. It is in the upright, okay? And I do have a lot of reversals in this particular deck. So um, in the upright is great as far as communication goes. Your ability to cut out anyone or anything that is threatening to uh, sidebar your plans, right? Anyone that is not playing nice in the sandbox boom off with your head kind of thing um, you're not gonna take any of that today right you're really gonna be focused on what you want to accomplish focused on where you will have the most impact to get things done today and perhaps you do have this kind of sense of a little bit of wondering about things today as well it's like hmm I wonder if I can do this better I wonder if I take this approach will it be easier and more efficient for me so we're kind of doing that kind of thing today right it's like, I wonder how I can improve this. I wonder how I can do this different. So you might just have a sense of wonder today. I'm not sure why that's coming in, but it is. Um, so yeah, I'm sense of wonder. And so, you know, the thing is, is that the page of swords is a great energy because it is one where we're, we're encouraged to break out of a cycle or break out of a rut or break out of the normal, everyday, mundane way of doing things. It's a very innovative kind of energy, right? Very, you know, think outside the box, right? To use some corporate buzzwords there. Um, and so today could be the day where you're doing that. It's actually Page of Swords quite often um, associated with Aquarian energy, right? Um, thinking about the future, making those plans and doing Doing things a little bit differently than you normally would and that can lead down the path to success so have an open mind have an open heart don't be afraid to say no today right because um, if anyone wants to you know interfere we'll call it okay with things you want to get done no, no is a complete sentence. You don't owe anyone explanation. All right. So you might be stumbling across some information, news or opportunities today. You might have some information coming in and incoming communication, some messages received. There could be something involving technology, like we said yesterday, but again, it is in the upright. So that's a great thing. Your advice from spirit is the queen of cups. First of all, follow your heart. This is a creative energy. It is one where you're in touch with your emotions, where you're engaged with your higher self for a spiritual energy as well. Perhaps your intuition is calling you to action. Perhaps your intuition is guiding you today in some way and spirit's really encouraging you here to be open to the messages that you're receiving and to embrace them and follow them and trust them um, once and for all. There might be something here where that does need healing. The Queen of Cups can bring in some very emotional healing for you um, and with the page of swords perhaps you are having a very important conversation with somebody um, about something that needs to be get fixed or maybe you're having very lovey-dovey kind of conversations today maybe some love and romance but this can speak to friendships this can speak to partnerships the queen of cups spirit could be saying for you for some of you today be on the lookout for someone today that has your best interests at heart and that may want to help you 
not everybody that we talk to during the day uh, wants to sidetrack us from things that we want to get done. So this can be somebody that can really help you. Maybe they're creative or maybe they just have some ideas that um, even just through the course of normal communication, just, ta just having a casual conversation with this person, they may say something that kind of sparks your interest and it sparks an idea in your head. Sometimes spirit sends people on your path and they act as like accidental oracles. Quite often spirit speaks through children that way because they just blurt out whatever comes in their head, right? They got no filter. Um, but the spirit sends us other people in our day as well. So pay a little bit of attention. Um, don't necessarily go looking for things or turning over rocks or, um, you know, uh, making something big out of something that might not be but you'll know this oracle when you find it you'll know when you have this conversation because all of a sudden you will just have this kind of aha moment and it might not be while you're talking to them it's probably as you're walking away um, or as you go and like sit in your car you get to a quiet space and all of a sudden it's like boom something clicks so uh, be aware of that because you just could have that going on today as well but ultimately the Queen of Cups is one where we feel open, we feel receptive, we're in tune with everything around us, we're in tune with our higher chakras, right? We're in, our heart is open and we're just feeling the flow of the energy and so Spirit says there to embrace the flow, right? And walk away from situations that are creating any kind of negative vibes or anything like that. Protect your energy today as well, um, just to make sure that you know you're not absorbing anyone else's all right we don't want to do that we want you to move forward with this burst of positivity we've got the eight of pentacles today and this is the energy benefiting you the most so some of you could have some creative project that you're doing in your workplace um, that this could be something, maybe you're getting some results, something that you've put some time and effort into um, because the Eight of Pentacles is a very uh, it's a positive card, all right, very positive card, um, but it is one of being very productive. So this could be a day where, you know, yeah, you're, you're just thinking very clearly, you're getting things done, you've got your nose to the grindstone and you get a sense of accomplishment and then you feel really happy about it. It's a very creative energy as well. Some of you might actually be working with your hands. Maybe you've got some sort of project to beautify your environment some way here as well, because the Queen of Cups does bring in beauty, right? Brings in all this wonderful energy. And so some of you here, maybe you are um, doing something simple like painting your house or rearranging your furniture, that kind of thing. With the Page of Swords, it's a great energy for decluttering your environment here as well. But the um, Eight of Pentacles, yes, can represent your working and your efforts are paying off and there's abundance that it's about to come in for you. You're about to get rewarded for your efforts in some way, okay? If you're feeling a little bit stuck on something here, um, always very interesting with the traditional imagery of the Eight of Pentacles because, you know, we've got dudes sitting here on a chair, right? He's working hard, he's creating these pentacles, he's got all of his work lined up, it's beautiful but he's got something under the chair. So if you feel as though you're missing a key piece of information or you're missing a puzzle piece of something, okay, you might need to take a creative approach or do something a little bit differently to wrap up a project, right? To get something done. We sometimes do need to kind of think, oh my God, I've gotten to this point. Now, what am I missing? Because I'm just not quite finished, right? So, but you're getting things done today. You're also learning things. You're gaining skills and wisdom as well. So you could be researching some information and some of you are maybe um, discovering your path forward um, for change, right? This is a great energy here to utilize your skills and talents and to really highlight your accomplishments, right? To find yourself, say, a new job, that kind of thing, because you're skilled, you're um, committed, right? You're a hard worker, right? All of these things, you get results. And if you're not being rewarded where you are right now, this can be a great time, page of swords, for a new beginning, right? To discover something um, a little bit more in alignment with you, um, with your goals, with your needs, and also maybe something that's a little bit more fulfilling for you. And so we could be discovering some new opportunities in this energy here as well. 
but I think you're getting things done, you're working hard, and you're accomplishing some goals or you've learned something on your journey. So let's get one final message for you for you guys today. We're going to get a message from Archangel Michael, and let's see what Archangel Michael has to say. Trust your angels. Very interesting, since we had that message about the Queen of Cups, about someone maybe being like an oracle for you. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has a perfect plan. All right, so take action, take initiative when you're called to, but we also need to be open and receptive, Queen of Cups, and recognize those signs or recognize the opportunities that may come to us. But So pay attention to all kinds of signs. Pay attention to your dreams. I really do feel that there's this big connection here for you today. Some of you might get a little bit of an epiphany, okay? But when we get the Queen of Cups energy, it's really all about being open and being receptive, right? Prepare for action, but you will know the right timing when it presents itself, right? You just got a deep sense of knowing today. So I'm going to leave all that there for you. I hope there was something here for you. If there was, please like, share, subscribe, throw a comment in the box down below. All of that, of course, really does let me know that you resonate with the reading, and that is the most important thing for me. But it also, it also does tell the YouTube algorithm, hey, hello, we like this video. Can you please show it to more people? So I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.